Welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3 with this Bavarian campaign. So almost immediately after I'd taken Satin um, in Pomerania, I got attacked by the Danish. So they moved in towards Mecklenburg and I was intercepting them. And this is that interception battle. Um, this is the main army. So we have a little bit of a different troop. Uh, no howitzer. We got two 12-pounders. Cavalry is uh, very much the same, um, and then I have uh, moved out the units as followed. We've got kind of the elite infantry, um, which I mean, there's two guards, the Koenig infantry, but it's kind of like the the top gear, uh, um, top uh, line line infantry units that aren't really sort of. The ones with the bear skins, in a sense, the grenadiers. Um, and then in the forest, we've got the light brigade. Then over here, we've got uh, the sort of the line infantry, the line brigade, and then the grenadier brigade. Got a heavy cavalry to support the center. Got these two dragoons on this side, and we got the chevaliers on this side ready to support here. Um, the Danish somewhere here uh, we can see we've spotted one of their troops special troop Norwegian ski troops which kinda fits because uh, well there's snow everywhere and uh, yeah with that said let's see if we can't defeat this Danish army and hopefully push on um, and actually take all of Denmark. So they're moving up quickly. And I want to kind of move so that when we fight them, the enemy is outside of the forest while we are inside. It starts raining. Infantry to move up to flank them, surround the enemy as I usually do. Elite infantry start moving this way. Cavalry over here. General back here. Karaziers closing in. And the Chevaliers moving further out there. So we've got Danish light infantry, Danish Jaegers. It's an entire regiment of them. Um, sharpshooter regiment. Sharpshooter Company could be nasty, but I'm in the forest, so it should soak up a lot of those bullets. Um, right, I'm coming hella close here. We're gonna stop. Just shy of that. The Danish are going very hard. They've got a really big militia unit and more Danish Jaegers, and then a lifeguard regiment is moving up. That could be nasty, especially at this close range, since we're facing the Danish off very close. Um, bloody ski troops are sneaking in between my lines here. Not entirely sure what the Danish Jaegers think when they're sort of charging straight towards my dragoons. Danish going really close over here. The thing is, I cannot sort of stop to check the... Um, Stop to check close up fight because there's so much going on all over the place. We've got the Danish basically standing right in top of us. Now it's nice how they are wearing uh, heavy winter coats here. Kind of fits compared to these guys with the summer coats. Um, Danish are doing an attack on the elite infantry but that's falling apart. And now with the Dragoons having finished off that Jäger unit. They can turn around and we've got a number of different ones. Guard, horsemen. Got the Oldenborgs, Oldenborgs infantry. Silly Danish. Let's see if we can get those infantry right there. Oh, look at that. They're all just falling apart here. So this entire attack. Danish Brigade just fell apart. 
I sent my Karaziers off to chase down those. Yeah. The uh, ski troops are gone. You will hold fire, switch to round shot. Um, the forest held. But they took heavy beating, and at least this one right here. But other than that, it's gone pretty well. Um, not entirely sure how you guys have not been able to get rid of that sharpshooter company. And then lead grenadiers will turn Jevalagers into the forest. And I'm hoping my dragoons can continue this. We got an attack by Danish uh, cavalry. Horse guards. Moving straight into us. The Danish were so aggressive, but it re didn't really work out for them. We've got some veteran infantry in the forest here. It really didn't work out for the Danish at all with their very aggressive tactic because they got absolutely slaughtered. See if we can get beyond this little forested area. And then, I mean, these guys keep routing. Get rid of the cannon. And then fall on the backs of these guys. Uh, yeah, they're actually... Danish Jaegers are firing at my cavalry. Which is not that great. Right, the heavy... Grenadier Brigade will move to deal with the Jaegers. The infantry will hold that against the militia and that foot regiment. The lights should clear out the forest of those veterans. Our men are running. Um, who's running now? Ah, I forgot to order them to attack something and they took a heavy beating by this uh, foot regiment. The forest those guys away. A cavalry will chase down those guys. Kerning regiment will form square while the other two advance. I'm just worried about this one. You know what? Keep in line with the others. Better if we have the entire brigade moving forwards rather than to leave one behind. Um, not going too, too well for the infantry here. Because the, for some reason the lights have not been able to get the veterans out of the bloody forest. Right, the heavy infantry uh, grenadier brigade, brigade managed to get rid of the Danish over here. The infantry will wheel to deal with these. We got rid of the enemy in the forest. Boy, oh, did they even... They kind of broke the square, I guess. Heavy infantry brigade to uh, annihilate these guys. God damn it. You know what? Light infantry. You guys will uh, go ahead and charge. Charge away the Danish. These uh, Danish veteran troops... They were too strong, uh, or they held too well for uh, us to just shoot them down in the forest. And before these guys are able to uh, reorganize themselves, my cavalry strikes, but also my cannon, so we'll kind of hold fire with those. Start advancing forward. Same with the Light Brigade, the Infantry Brigade, a Heavy Brigade. You know what form square? It's only the dangerous... The dangerous? No, not the dangerous. Clearly the stupid... Dangerous... <laughs> Danish General. He was actually called... What was he called? Um, he had a really strange name. Let's see if we can... If we kill him here, we'll see what he's called. Otherwise... I bet the Danish army will actually uh, still kind of survive the battle. 
Oh, they're charging the square. Right, I think we won there. The Danish were defeated in less than 10 minutes. And as we can see, it's another slaughter. Most of this was just a really stupid advance right into our lines. I mean, the, they put their lifeguard and lots of units. So clearly did not go well for them. Could have gone a little bit better for me. Um, some square placements and stuff that could have gone better. But given the fact that we just took down a Danish full stack like that with elite troops and whatnot, uh, I'm pretty pleased. So, yeah, let's go back to the campaign and take a look at what is going on there. Um, oh yeah, the Danish did attack before we actually go over there. The, Dan the Danish did actually attack during their turn, obviously. Uh, now when I think about it, I don't know why I made it like they... This time they actually attacked during their turn, would you imagine? No. Um, so they did that. One of the problems I had though, and I kind of been loading, uh, say, loading saves back and forth, is because for some reason the game started to crash. And I kind of figured what it is, because I had a crash where um, the Danish attacked Mecklenburg and I had no troops in it. I had placed no infantry in it. And that somehow caused the game to crash. Um, so I, that's why I've now put infantry in all, um, all my cities to make sure that that doesn't happen. And I can Im I'm imagining what is happening it's a russian counterattack to the russian uh, to the french advancing into the territory um, and it's a town there that gets uh, thrown back and forth and one of the sides either the french or the russians attack this town without any troops inside of it and that is causing the crash so i'm not entirely sure because i can't exactly affect it I don't know how to do it, so I've been loading saves further back and then going through forward again. Trying to change the situation, but there's not a lot I can do. And, I mean, it, this is only speculations because the crash it happens in a similar way as when, when I... Uh, or when Denmark uh, attacked one of my cities without, uh, without any... Um, proper garrison to guard it so I think that's my idea anyways of what's going on um, so I don't know how we're gonna work around that because it to change because to change that I would probably have to go way back to undo the problem and then I would have to uh, you know basically redo so much to get back at the same point and even then I mean this campaign is uh, I mean I have a big problem trying to take on the French there's so much to do anyways hopefully I'll end this battle and it won't crash because of that reason and we will uh, be able to move against Denmark so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that this campaign can continue until I die at the hands of the French, which I'm pretty sure is the uh, only outcome that we're looking at. With that said, however, let's end the battle, shall we? A decisive victory over Njord Block, which was his name, uh, or it's kind of in Njord because for some reason it's set. That it's sat kind of weird there. Um, Njord Block. <laughs> Bok. Um, they only managed to um, kill 500 of me. However, I lost 700 men, so quite a bit of ki team kills there. Um, but if we compare the losses, I mean, I lost 700 men. The Danish lost almost 3,000, so their entire army. Uh, light infantry regiment got a lot, but as we can see, it's both of these. Dragoon regiments that do a lot of the killing as they're chasing down the enemy. Um, I think that's a lot due to the fact that I didn't use the other cavalry units, but also because 
I've noticed just because this one's so heavy it's kind of slow and it doesn't get there as fast and this one um, doesn't have really the same kind of skill as the Dragoons have because they, the Dragoons are really good so uh, yeah um, the enemy has uh, oh I'm I'm quite surprised that my army numbered 4,000 men um, I guess that might be due to the little reinforcements from town otherwise I think we're about 3,800 um, anyways massive losses for them they've got 600 men remaining um, as we didn't take too many losses I think we can push on uh, towards the Danish capital. What I could do is I could try to recruit a ship and then load my army onto that and then unload it really quickly uh, onto the main Danish island because marching there is going to take a few turns and by that time they might have recruited extra troops and I would be caught in a very bad situation marching that way. But with that said, let's go ahead and uh, let the Danish or everyone do their do uh, their turns, and hopefully it won't crash for me. Nice. Um, not the Pomeranians on strike, uh, but the fact that uh, it didn't crash. So we got one and a half full stack of enemies uh, at Danish capital. And we're about two turns away from there from attacking them. And I wish, of course, that we could get wait to get fully reinforced. But um, that would only increase the amount of troops Dan Denmark will be putting against us. So uh, we'll go ahead and attack. And one of the things is, with this province being taken over, one I did was I, this time I uh, had to load a save and uh, attack this place again. And this time I actually looted the place so to get a bit of extra cash, which means they're a bit unhappy. But uh, we could definitely move this army up here as well. And I think we should probably build some ships. One of these need to be turned into a port, into a military port, I think. So I can actually build some. Uh, I can't build this because I don't have the uh, the technology. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. Okay, so with this one, I can build these ships. So the biggest one being a twenty-four. Uh, gun frigate. If I change it out to a steam dry dock, the biggest ship I can build is still a 24 fig frigate. What on earth? Uh, let's see. Technology? Ship technology. Is there any such thing? Um, no, you know what? We need to go through here. Region. Uh, let's go just to Venice, I guess. No, I'm looking at this wrong building browser. There we go. This port. Steam dry dock. Why doesn't it not allow anything bigger for me? Why is have they cucked Bavaria's naval <laughs> industry? No. Um, right. Oh, not only that. There's a limit to the amount of ships I can have. Bavaria <laughs> certainly won't rule the waves. Right. Um, I don't think we're going to do a lot of offensive maneuvers down in the Mediterranean. I do have my fleet down here. But that's mostly to protect the Trade Navy. I wish I could move the Trade Navy over to the Ivory spot, but we got massive British Navy on the Thomas Cochrane um, raiding trade there. Um, going toe to toe, I don't know what the what the Swedes and the Danish have for kind of navy. Um, they don't have that many ships. I guess we'll try to build this. I 
we've got f we're gonna get five ships. Great. Um, right. I think we're gonna end one more turn just so I'm within striking range of the Danish capital, and we'll see what happens. Um, they might go ahead and just drag all their troops to attack me again, in which case. We'll still do that. We'll do that in the next video. But I want to just make sure that this video does not crash, or this game does not crash this turnaround. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and turn again and see what happens. Workers are rioting, and they burnt down the military academy. Path blocked. I'm hoping that they're not actually being able to block me like that, but it looks like we're gonna have to do a naval landing as we attack the Danish, um, as I do not believe there's a bridge there, maybe there is, um, well there is a bridge area, um, clearly you can move across, but I don't know if there historically was a bridge over here, so it definitely wasn't one over here, um, it would imagine that's one of the things like when they introduced the navy, the combined sort of naval. Imagine having combined naval in a game like this, or sort of like during the gunpowder age, um, and you would have like the troops fighting or a, a boys fort next to the water, and you have your troops moving up, uh, you know, trying to assault the walls, and then you'll have your uh, sort of big ships of the line coming past and just just firing bloody broadsides across forts and stuff that would be so epic and amazing but uh, yeah they didn't do that instead what we got was those uh, submarines in Rome 2 um, Gonna well, this area is under our control. There's not a great amount of uh, replenishment. The thing is, um, just one province over there is tons of replenishment because they've got a really good uh, resupply depot. What I need to do though is, I just realized that we're gonna need another one of these reserve units to move up to Pomerania to set up there. Also, did I not send... Ah, you know what? As I loaded the save... Uh, as I loaded the save... Yes, that agent did n never spawned this time around. In this universe, he never spawned. So he never was. Um, but yeah, this was this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it next time. We're hopefully laying siege to Copenhagen and taking that, which would be rather a major victory. And we would also probably, just by the sheer income of Copenhagen, we would probably be able to get a third army going. As I already kind of has have money to uh, spend on a sort of half stack at least. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Uh, we've got someone, this guy, which is really good at managing stuff. So we're going to kick this guy out. Um, since he's really good at managing stuff, we don't want to put him on Navy though, because our Navy is shit. So I think we're going to put him instead. I wonder, Treasurer, which is best. Someone's doing renovations in my house, uh, unfortunately. Um, you know what, I'll figure this out uh, later. Anyways, as I said, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.